Welcome Australia, and thank you for tuning into our Brocon channel. We are thrilled to have you part of our global launch for Brocon 4.0. Today we unveil not only a new product, but also a brand new website. So please click the link below and go visit us at www.brocon.com. For more than three decades, we have developed innovative tools to help ease daily tasks for our users. For Engineers by Engineers continues to be our promise to our clients, as you will see from the features and the products we are launching today. What can you expect from today? We'll be looking at some multi-language support. We'll be looking at some new features in our existing products, a brand new bundle for composite design and a new masonry product. Also included is steel models, anchor bolts, APIs and scripting. If you want to be notified of the latest and greatest at Procon, please subscribe to this channel. The moment you have been waiting for, Procon 4.0. One of our proudest features in version 4 is that we now have multi-language support. We all know that the design code can be adjusted. We've all done this before. Now that Procon is a stronger competitor in the global market, the need for different languages is obvious. Most of the concrete design modules will already have the multi-language support and other programs will follow soon. Until now, the following languages have been considered English, German, Russian and Afrikaans with potential future plans to include Spanish, simplified Chinese and Arabic. You will now be able to choose the language and the program's input and output will be formatted to the chosen language. This is especially useful because now you can choose an appropriate design code and have reporting done in the language of your choice. For example, I can choose the Russian design code and someone else can review the design report in German. Multi-language support is an important feature for Procon and the languages we already have will address an existing need. However, if you feel your language must be added, please contact us. 4.0 of Procon Structural Analysis and Design includes a new composite design category. There are four independent programs. The first two are concerned with composite beam design, whereas the next two deal with the design of composite columns. They are composite beam section design, composite continuous beam design, composite column fill design, and composite column encased design. The first program deals with the design of composite beam sections. The program can design various configurations of a composite section. No deck, flat deck, rib parallel to the beam, rib perpendicular to the beam, corrugated parallel to the beam, and corrugated perpendicular to the beam. Users can add reinforcing to the concrete slab, The effectivity of the shear connection provided by the shear studs are calculated by the program. Various ULS load cases can be defined. These will ultimately be compared to the capacity of the section that the program will calculate next to determine if the section is adequate. The program uses the rigid plastic theory, as recommended in Eurocode 4, to determine the capacity of the composite section. The section is checked for the two cases of bending, that is sagging and hogging. The eight preliminary design checks are summarized in the table. Finally, a summary of each load case is presented and a result of pass or fail is given. The calc sheets provide the detailed calculations done by the program with references to the design code. The 
next program deals with the design of composite continuous beams. Users can input multi-span beams with various loads. The bending moment and shear forces are determined, thereafter the section is designed using the same routines as the first program. Three construction methods are possible, unpropped, partially propped and fully propped. These will influence the way the beam carries the load and also eventual deflections. The section page looks very similar to what is done in the composite section design module. The different section types can be stored in the table. Again, you can see the different section parameters, the deck type, the steel beam size, reinforcing and shear connector properties. Various spans can be defined and each span can consist of more than one section. This allows for economical design because you can have a section with reinforcing in the flange to be used in regions of hogging and another without steel in the flange for sagging regions. The three support fixities are vertical, fixed and cantilever. Supports can be permanent or for construction purposes only and this relates to the prop construction method. Possible ULS loads include distributed loads, point loads and point moments at any point along the beam. Looking at the design output, we can see the elastic deflections as well as long-term deflections. The shear forces and bending moment envelopes are plotted along the length of the beam. Lastly, the calc sheets provide detailed equations and design diagrams. The other two new programs that fall under composite construction is the composite column design programs. The first column program is for the design of filled composite columns. And the second program can design encased composite columns. The design process follows rigid plastic theory according to the requirements in the Eurocode. As you'd expect, the program will generate the summary of the design for the column section, and the values in the summary is compared to the entered loads, axial forces and bending moments. Failure mechanisms and critical load cases are also summarized, and the utilization for biaxial bending, axial and shear forces are displayed. The programs calculate interaction diagrams about both design axes. These interaction diagrams are indeed special for two reasons. First, the graphs are plotted with multiple points along the axial force bending moment interaction range, rather than being plotted by four points recommended by the simplified method in the code. By using rigid plastic theory instead of the simplified method, the design will be more accurate. And second, the charts themselves are interactive. You can manually select values on the graph and the block diagrams are updated to display the strains in tension and compression. And if that wasn't enough, these programs generate detailed equations as well, which allows you to track the design and be in complete control of your design reports. The two programs function in a very similar fashion, but are divided into two programs. The composite filled column design is able to design circular and rectangular filled sections, and the composite encased column design is able to design encased and partially encased columns. With these two design modules, you will be able to design most composite columns. One of the new programs at 400 Procon's masonry design suite to the freestanding masonry wall design module. The program can be used to determine the lateral load resistance of wall panels at distant from wall ends. The 
program currently supports the 1992 version of the South African Bureau of Standards. The general tab allows the user to specify various input parameters regarding a masonry unit. The program uses the entered nominal compression strength and mortar class to determine the characteristic compression and flexural strength of a masonry unit. The user, however, has the option to override these calculated values should the masonry units have been tested to failure as specified by the applicable design code. Should a solid wall type be specified, the program considers a unit width of wall and analyzes it as a simple cantilever that spans vertically. A pier or staggered wall type means the program analyzes an effective cantilever that is centered around the pier and spanning vertically. It also analyzes the panel between the piers by considering a strip of unit width that spans horizontally, supported vertically by the piers at each end. The program supports multiple load combinations of UDLs, line loads, and point loads. The Design Output tab displays a table indicating where the capacity of the horizontal and vertical span has been exceeded. And it also shows a graph indicating the vertical and horizontal applied and resisting moments for the different load combinations. Lastly, the program's calc sheet displays detailed equations and a tabular summary of the applied bending moments and capacity for the vertical and horizontal spans on the design tab. Sumo Structural Analysis has further developed in order to maintain its compliance with the Building Information Management Strategy by becoming compatible with Industry Foundation class files. The module now allows the importing and exporting of structural analysis IFC subsets with other third-party software. To ensure a seamless integration between third-party software when exchanging structural analysis IFC subsets, the module displays an information box indicating the success of the import or export and an output dialog box which supplies the user with a list of detailed information regarding the exchange. Frame now allows the exchange of SimSteel files with other third-party software, such as Robot Structural Analysis. In order to ensure a better integration with the third-party software, the module allows the user to pre-map sections from the Procon section database with sections of the third-party software. By exporting the CIS2 file in frame, all the information recorded in a frame model can be opened and viewed in other third-party software. Procon's Concrete Design Suite now includes the 2018 version of the Australian and Russian Concrete Design Codes and the 2019 version of the Canadian Concrete Design Code. The Wind Pressure Analysis Module now includes the 2018 version of the South African Design Code and the 2016 version of the Russian Design Code. Additional to this, you will notice that the 3D visualization of wind pressure graphics has also been revised in the module. The Powell Design module now allows users to enter their own reinforcing configurations and then evaluate if the configuration conforms with the limits as per the specified design code. look at what's coming to Procon in the near future. First, Anchor Design. Procon's new Anchor Design module designs headed anchors in concrete subject to tension lobes. The calculations are based on the Eurocode and several other published technical documents. The program will allow you to define anchors embedded in concrete and also considers supplementary reinforcement to be added to the anchorage. There is a range of checks that are done. Failure of fastness in tension, anchor pullout, 
concrete splitting, blowout failure, concrete cone failure, and supplementary reinforcement failure. Procon knows that the interaction between a concrete base, anchors, and a base plate isn't mutually exclusive. Therefore, we can use a specific workflow to do this design. The anchor design module serves as a post-processor for the base plate connection design module. Geometry and calculated forces are exported to the anchor design program. Furthermore, the starter bars defined in the concrete base design can be loaded into the anchor module to reinforce the anchors. This program is now available as a beta version and we value your feedback on how the program has simplified your design checks. Next, Prodesk Steel. As we all know, Prodesk is a powerful tool that loads data from Autodesk Revit into Procon and forms part of Procon's main recommended workflow. Imagine if you had the same capability while working with Advanced Steel. Prodex Steel will ultimately enable us to load a steel structure from Advanced Steel into Sumo. This is essentially another portal between Autodesk and Procon and allows us to do analyses and designs of steel structures in your favorite analysis and design programs. Imagine all the features of Prodesk now applied to Advanced Steel. Okay, let's have a look at the Sumo API. So I've got Visual Studio open. Um, I'm using VB.NET, but it can be any .NET language like C Sharp. I've added the Sumo API library to the solution, and I've created a form with some controls on it that is going to be recording data. In my example, I'm using a spreadsheet control from Spreadsheet Gear um, just to help me enter information and to convert that into geometry using some basic logic. You could have any types of inputs on your form or reading it from a text file or even files exported through Dynamo um, using Revit models. Now, in my case, you'll see that I've got two functions. Uh, mine either um, creates geometry after I've launched Sumo from this sheet, or I've got a second sheet, which has got a bit more of a complex model that you will see once I launch it. Um, and then I'll show you how to generate those models. I also use the functions to read from the section database and to load some sections and materials into the model. You'll notice there's not a lot of line of codes. It's quite a, a simple API, easy to use, easy to automate and to create objects. For the second function, where we create a slightly more complex model, um, again, you'll notice a very small amount of code considering the work that it's going to be doing. So let's jump straight into it and I can show you what that looks like. Right, so once I compile the solution and run it. All I need to do for my example is to specify the installation path to Procon. And as I mentioned, we've got two examples, a simple one and a complex one. Step one is to launch Sumo. Mine's running in demo because I haven't activated my license on this machine, but in any case, it shouldn't be a problem. So let's first go ahead and create a simple model. So all I do is I click on create geometry and there we go. We can see very quickly, very easily, objects created using the values that I've specified. In my case, I've hard coded the sections that goes into it, but that could have been a separate column where we could have specified section designations. Now, if we wanted to create a much more complex model, we can do that too. And you'll notice that I'm able to use Sumo um, and my automation script on the side um, all together in the same session. Now this one here is a lot more complex. This was actually data that was exported from another program um, and we wanted to replicate those results in Sumo to see what that looks like. And here you'll see we've got a whole bunch of different nodes um, that indicates force, displacement, um, the actual connection of elements and the program interprets these lines and it looks for certain elements and it then automatically converts that into a model. So I'm going to, without delay, 
hit convert and you'll see what happens in the back end and it's quite a significant model it would have taken many many man hours to replicate um, but using the API obviously it's all automated and it runs fairly quickly and finally Python scripting for Sumo Sumo is very easy to use and has an intuitive user interface which allows users to very easily build models and run analyses however we are always looking to be more flexible and support more workflows. Apart from Sumo's open API, a future edition will allow users to make use of the Python programming language to load elements and generate structures. Although this expands Sumo's modeling capabilities to be almost limitless, this is not just meant for advanced users. Everyday users will also benefit from the Python scripting. To name one example, you can define a script that loads a template Sumo file for you. Let's say that you have certain load cases, combinations, sections, and materials that you load for every Sumo model. With just a click of a button, you will be able to add all the required elements. Procon will continue to innovate and improve as we have done in the past. Keep in touch by using our new website and remain informed about everything Procon has to offer. None of this would have been possible if it wasn't for you, our loyal users. Explore our new website for exciting content, resources like downloads, support, and our knowledge base articles. Head over to Procon Virtual where you can see some innovative technology talk, technical webinars, and our brand new Procon Virtual Academy. Remember to subscribe to our LinkedIn and our YouTube channels. Thank you for being part of our Procon launch. We look forward to hearing from you. Goodbye.